Welcome back guys. We are going to be starting the project setup right now. And the very first thing that we want to do is to create our basic directory structures. So we're going to try as much as we can to create folders in a way that we imagine that we're going to be putting things inside of the folders. So the first folder that I want to create here is going to be the source directory. So I want to call this SRC. And I also want to create another folder. This is going to be my test directory. So we have two folders here side by side, source directory and test directory. In the source directory, we're going to have all of our code logic and everything there. And then in the test directory, we're going to have everything related to test inside of this folder. And then inside of the source directory, I want to create new directories. So the first one will be config. And this is going to hold our configuration files for the application. So if we have some informations that we need for the application to be able to run, we are going to put them inside of files that will be located inside of this folder. So we have our configs. And then we're going to create another one. And we're going to call this contracts. So contracts are basically interfaces that we're going to be using in our application. Remember that in my previous series, the OOP bootcamp series, I've explained that an interface is basically a contract. So we are going to have some interfaces in our application and they're going to be inside of this folder. And the reason why we use interfaces is so that we are able to decouple our application. Then we're going to create one more folder. So this is going to be database. So this is a folder that's going to contain our database connection script, our query builder, and also the drivers for the different APIs that we're going to support. So we're going to have support for PDO driver and also for MySQLite driver. So if you could use PDO, that means that you could potentially use about 12 databases. Then we're going to create one more folder here. This is going to be the exception folder. And basically this folder, we are going to have our own exception classes that is going to be extending the inbuilt PHP exception classes. And this will allow us to customize our exception the way that we want. And then we're going to have another folder here, which is going to be help house. And uh, basically in this folder, we're going to have some few classes that we are going to use to be able to accomplish things in different places in the application. So uh, a basic use case for this would be like functions that we can use very easily in different places in our applications. We're gonna maybe group them into some classes and then uh, provide access in the application. So they're just going to be our EPA classes that will be stored here. So let me add one more here. And this is going to be the logger directory. So we're going to have our log classes defined inside of here. And also our log files will be placed inside of this folder. For now, we're going to leave it like this. We will be adding more folders later. Folders where we'll be storing our templates. Templates are going to contain our HTML file that we'll be using for the application. And also we'll be adding folders for our PHP scripts, which we'll be using to handle requests and all of that. So for now, we're going to leave it like this and then get to the next video where we start actually writing some code.